We are learning more about what Wisconsin voters are thinking about when it comes to the presidential race, police and protests right now in a head to head matchup among likely voters. Former Vice President Joe Biden's lead narrows to four points over President Trump, 47 to 43 percent. It was five points in August and six points in June. So let's talk about the Marquette Law School poll with our political panel. We have Common Council President Cavalier Johnson, a Milwaukee Democrat, and Robin Moore, a Waukesha Republican grassroots supporter. I want both of you to either see these numbers or hear. These are numbers from voters' points of view on Black Lives Matter and on uh, law enforcement. 49% support or find Black Lives Matter favorable. And when it comes to law enforcement, 73% find law enforcement favorable, according to the poll. Now, President Johnson, you were with Vice President Biden last week in Milwaukee. When you see those numbers, what does it tell you about this race in Wisconsin? Well, thank you, Charles, uh, for having me. I, when I see the numbers, uh, it looks to me that this race is pretty stable. Um, the vice president has continued to uh, be up uh, on President Trump, and I think it'll remain up on President Trump all the way through November. I think this race is pretty stable in this state. Robin Moore, the president came to Kenosha with a strong law and order message. It seemed to help with his base, but when it comes to moving the needle, it didn't seem to move it much. Are you surprised? No, just because this is the way the polls are going lately, and he is within the margin of error in this poll. So right now it's kind of a statistical dead heat, which isn't a bad place to be. As a candidate, you always want to run like you're a couple of points behind to see you through the finish. But as it relates to how those numbers point for law enforcement and Black Lives Matter, obviously a very strong support for law enforcement and the only candidate that is standing with law enforcement and the only candidate that is being backed by law enforcement is President President Trump. Well, let's take a look at some other numbers here. It's the job approval numbers for President Trump. He gets higher marks for the economy and lower approval numbers for protests and the pandemic. Rob, Robin, is that going to be a problem for the president down the final stretch here? Well, I think that points to a couple of things. First of all, some people are reacting to the pandemic and the protest probably more of how they're handled on a local level. And as we saw in this poll, we saw Evers numbers drop precipitously uh, quite a bit. And I think that reflects poorly on on his handling of things. And so some of that might just trickle to the president as as a leader. But overall, I think what really matters to people is the economy. Trump's numbers in the economy have been high, have always remained high. They're high among voters across the state, especially in, in the suburbs. And if we can put the safety and security of our citizens and our businesses and our taxpayers first, the economy does remain the number one well, uh, issue to yeah. voters. President Johnson, let me ask you about that, because the economy does seem to uh, show as number one issue in polls. So do you agree with what she says? Well, I mean, I think the economy is certainly going to be something that folks will gauge uh, this race by. Uh, Vice President Biden has a plan to build our economy back better uh, and making sure that every person who participates in our economy, not just those at the top, but it's including those who are at the very bottom as well, have an opportunity to grow uh, in this economy, too. Uh, in terms of what you said about, um, you know, support for the police and Black Lives Matter, look, if you did a poll of Martin Luther King in the 1960s, he would have been way underwater. And there is a net positive still for Black Lives Matter today. So I think that's a really good thing. And in terms of Vice President Biden's uh you know, opinion of the police. Uh, Vice President Biden believes in public safety. Uh, Vice President Biden, you know, talked about uh, just recently, you know, his desire to make sure that the police have more training so that incidents like we saw in Kenosha don't happen across the United States uh, in the future. All right. And by, by in training for police. Well, we appreciate you both weighing in here. Common Council President Chevy Johnson and Robin Moore, thank you both for being here. You can find more information about the Marquette Law School poll on our website at tmj4.com slash decision 2020. We're still ahead at four, although the Milwaukee Bucks season is over.